Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a random women's Royal Rumble. It's just like, we're going to have a lot of, we're going to have a couple new faces, but not a lot. It, it Maybe at least like, maybe close to half will be new, but a lot of them will be from other Rumbles and stuff. So, uh, it's just a random Rumble. There's some anime characters I'm not familiar with, so I don't know a lot about them. I thought I'd just throw them in for some of you anime lovers. Um, and there's also some celebrities that we have that uh, we haven't had on the channel before. So this is another Women's Royal Rumble. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you're watching this right now, I'm probably on vacation. Uh, I don't know. if we're, We'll probably not have a premiere for this, but we might. I don't know. Um, but anyway. Here we go. What is this? The heck? Uh-oh, this sounds epic. Oh! Yes! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! It's the female Cenobite from Pin uh, Hellraiser. Oh my goodness. From Pinhead Movie. Oh my goodness. Her debut. I don't know her name. She's in the first Hellraiser and the second one. So, she's one of the main crew. Pinhead's got a crew of four, and she's the only female in the crew. So, wow. That, what an epic start to this rumble already. She kind of looks like Pinhead without the pins. But usually she has like these like tentacles coming out of her face. But I don't think the uh, they let you have that on creation. So And Megan Fox is here. Okay. So it's Megan Fox versus the female Cenobite. Let's get this party started. Here we go. Oh, man. I love how they did these Cenobites. Whoever did that, uh, thank you. Thank you for making these Cenobites. You can go download them on Xbox One Community Creations. And look at this. Oh, man. Slams Megan Fox right there. And Cheetah's number three. From Wonder Woman. Uh, I don't know if you guys have seen the new Wonder Woman trailer. It looks really interesting. And Cheetah was in it. So Cheetah is going to be in the Wonder Woman movie. And uh-oh, look at this. And Alice is number four. Now, this is from the Alice, the the game, the horror game. Yeah, I don't know if you guys have ever played that, but it's not, It's I think it's a Alice in Madness or something like that. I, I forget what it's called. I never played it because it had a lot of puzzles. You guys know I hate puzzles. So, look at this. Oh, man. Going after Megan Fox there. And the female Cenobite. And She-Hulk is number five. And She-Hulk has entered the ring. And look at this. Oh my goodness. 
The female Cenobite crushing everybody. I'm rooting for the female Cenobite. But there's no way she's going to win this at number one. Especially with She-Hawk around and some of these other women. There's no way. And Zero T-W-O is number six. I, she's an anime character. I've never seen that anime. If you're watching this, guys, I'm on vacation, so you won't see any streams or, you know, not a lot of episodes uh, between here and now. Um, I'm probably gonna I'm probably gonna get an FLH ready, but it'll probably be out before this. So it'll probably be the one that came out on Tuesday. I'm not for sure. I don't know how things are gonna. I don't know how the future is gonna work. But Sindel's number seven. Oh man, Cheetah with a nice punch. Uh oh. And Megan Fox has been eliminated, and Sindel's gonna join her as a female Cenobite. Oh man. And I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, she is from an anime, I believe. And look at She Hawk here. Oh man, choke slam. I wish you could eliminate two people at once. That'd be crazy if you could do like a finisher with two people on there. Because if you put that much effort in throwing two people against the uh, uh, turnbuckle, I think you should be able, able to eliminate two people, you know? If you could actually pull that off. That is hard to pull off. I've tried to do that before too. It's really hard. And Shiva's number nine from Mortal Kombat. So we got a Mortal Kombat character here. And uh-oh, Cheetah. Oh my goodness, what a move that is. Veronica Lodge. I think she's from the uh, Riverdale show. I've never seen Riverdale. But I think that's where she's from. I think she's a new one too that I, I put on there. And Shiva versus She-Hawk is great. Uh, oh no! Now Veronica Lodge is on my enemy list. Come on, Cheetah, get her. Or eliminate the female Cenobite. This one is new. It's Sailor Pluto. I think it's from maybe Sailor Moon, I'm guessing. I, I've never seen Sailor Moon. So, I may have seen it once. When I was younger. It was under the anime category. And She-Hawk is in trouble. Now, she's been eliminated. And Veronica, oh man, doesn't eliminate that one. This has been an interesting rumble so far. Even though I don't know a lot of these people. I hope you're enjoying it. It's still good to see some fresh faces no matter who they are. And Cheetah uh, does not go for the elimination. Shiva gets dropped. Veronica's doing a wonderful job. 
in this uh, rumble. Oh! Just when I spoke. <laughs> hey, I jinxed her. That's what I wanted to do since she eliminated my female Cenobite. Oh, Cheetah's been eliminated. And Queen Elizabeth is number 12. Which is, by the way, my favorite character. One of my favorites. Because it's just unbelievable that somebody created her. And it's hilarious. And look at this. I'm not a fan of that move. That move's just too much, you know? Lucy from Elf and Lied. I have watched that anime. But I haven't. It's pretty brutal. Um, I, I've only seen one episode. Though. It was really brutal, man. I've never seen an anime that brutal. I'm sure there are ones that are more, that are more, like, gory than that, but, yeah. It's pretty gory. I don't like it as much when cartoons are gory, you know? I like horror movies and stuff, but when, like, when cartoons get real gory, it kind of gets weird for me, you know? But I mean, even even when I watched Metalopicus, because I've I've seen all the episodes on that. Paula Abdul is here at number fourteen, and the moon uh, was eliminated. So Paula Abdul. Oh, I thought it was gonna crash for there for a second. It just stopped. It was freaking me out a little. I'm not gonna lie. Who is this? Oh wow, it's a Hooters girl. <laughs> oh come on, really? There we go, sorry about that guys. Oh my goodness. <laughs> You know, I've never been there. I have never been there. For real. Oh, man. Elimination there. Oh, man. The queen got leveled. Oh man, this one's really doing good, the Zero TWO. I don't know what her name, Zero Two. I, I don't know who she is. She's doing really good. And Marilyn Monroe's here at number 16. And they thought they could get rid of the Hooters girl, but the Hooters girl refuses to leave. Marilyn Monroe here. And Carol Baskin at number 17. Oh my goodness. Carol's here. 
Do they literally give her tattoos on her leg of like tiger stuff, really? <laughs> are those tattoos or like pants? I can't really tell. Carol Baskin defeats Paul Abdul. She's from the Tiger King, by the way. And the Queen might be done here. And I'm not even I'm not gonna even try that name. It's an anime character, I'm I'm assuming. <laughs> She's taking her time. Look at Carol Baskin. Continues her wrath. Another one. Zero's done. And Marilyn Monroe's fighting the Hooters girl. <laughs> that is hilarious. Oh my goodness. And Reagan McNeil from The Exorcist is here at number 19. And the Queen fighting the Hooters girl now. Can the queen pull it off? No. Uh-oh, the queen's in trouble. Oh, nice move there. And oh, the exorcist girl takes out Marilyn Monroe. Oh my goodness, really? And you could see, uh, I like how they made that character. You could see the puke on her, like, on her blouse. It's just so disgusting, man. It's so disgusting. And uh-oh, here comes this anime girl as the queen, and, oh my goodness. And I don't know who this girl is. Oh, she's from Heroes. She's from the show Heroes. So... And uh-oh. The queen is done. Oh my goodness. And little Kim. 90's little Kim's here. So uh, fresh face here. Little Kim. First time she's ever been on the channel. She's, in my opinion, she's the best female rapper. I don't know. Maybe not now, but I mean, at her time, she was great. The Hooters girl's still in this. But she might not be in there for long, little Kim. Uh oh. Decides not to do anything? Oh, but look here. Uh-oh. And little Kim helping now. The Hooters girl's done. And Ellen Ripley's 22. We've had her on here, but this is a different version. Different version of Ellen Ripley. Uh, Ellen Ripley. And Sarah Jessica Parker at number 23. I don't know if we've had her on here before or not. I feel like she's been on Community Creations, but we never, like, really did anything with it. Uh 
Uh oh. And the Exorcist girl has been eliminated. Virgo's here from Fairy Tale. I've never had her on here, I don't think. And little Kim's in trouble. And Ripley eliminates one of the anime girls. And Ripley and Sarah Jessica Parker trying to get... Oh, my goodness. But it was in the middle of a fight also. And little Kim's going to hang on. What a rumble this has been. Interesting rumble. Not a lot has, no one has really stood out in this. It's the only thing I don't really like about this one. And the bride is here, uh-oh. The bride, what do you mean? The bride? The bride of Frankenstein is here, all right. All right, oh, little Kim's been, oh my. Little Kim is levitating. And just when we said, oh my goodness, just when we said this rubble wasn't interesting, we have an interesting moment where little Kim levitates in midair. Oh my goodness, that was crazy. Little Kim eliminates uh, that one. And Sarah Jen Oh, Megan the Stallion. Now, guys, Megan uh, the Stallion is this is her debut. I've never had her on the channel either. Oh man, the Bride of Frankenstein. Uh-oh. Oh, there goes Ripley. Little Kim eliminates Ripley. Oh, man. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, man. A kick to the head. Oh, my goodness. Oprah at number 27. What in the world? Oprah's here. The heck? Oprah is here. You get an elimination. You get an elimination. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, there goes Megan. Megan's been eliminated. Little Kim versus Oprah. <laughs> that is a shocker. I did not expect Oprah to be here. Oh, man. Dawn from Pokemon. And the Bride of Frankenstein, who I'm rooting for, by the way, has eliminated Sarah Jessica Parker. And uh-oh, Bride of Frankenstein going after Oprah and doesn't work. And Oprah going after the Bride of Frankenstein. She could pull it off. And Cuban Doll at number 29. Uh, she's a rapper. She's not bad either. I actually looked her up and listened to one of her songs. So she's not too bad for a rapper nowadays especially. I'm rooting for the Bride of Frankenstein. Oh man, what a kick there. And Melania's number 30. <laughs> Melania at number 30. 
And Dawn's going to get eliminated. Oh, oh, she's still in. Wow. Melania is here. <laughs> and the bride. I'm rooting for the bride Frankenstein. Little Kim eliminates Oprah. Oh my goodness. Dawn's in this still. Little Kim, uh, Little Kim's the one to beat. Now, I probably, well, I'm rooting for the bride right now, but second place is probably Little Kim. I really don't want Dawn to win. She's in, she's part of the Ash Ketchum uh, Pokemon stuff. So I want her gone. All those Pokemon humans can go. Team Rocket, they're sorry, loser villain squad. Uh-oh. Double team here. Melania and Little Kim going after uh, the doll. And uh-oh. Bride of Frankenstein eliminates Don. So Don has been... Oh, man. We're seeing Melania versus the Bride of Frankenstein. That is hilarious. I'm rooting all the way for Bride of Frankenstein. Let's go. Little Kim's my second. No! Yes! I want the Bride of Frankenstein to win! <laughs> oh my goodness, what was that? That red mist, and I'll oh, know, not little Kim. And little Kim's been finally eliminated. Oh my goodness. I really want to see it come down to Melania and the Bride of Frankenstein. That'd be great. Oh no. Oh man. And oh, nice reversal there. And uh oh. Hey, I wouldn't underestimate her either. Cuban doll. Can she get Melania here? And she does. Okay. Look at her, man. She's doing great. But I'm still rooting for the Bride of Frankenstein. We're down to two. As you guys know, I like those old horror movie classics. Even though I'm, I'm not a big fan of Frankenstein himself. And uh-oh, look at this. We're not going to get a cutaway? She's hanging on. Oh, man. Oh. I'm going to see if a theory is true. I have a theory that you cannot get an elimination until the Royal Rumble Final 2 cutscene comes up. That's my theory. Let's see if that theory is true. I I hope it I hope it uh, is not because otherwise we'll never have an elimination until we see that scene. But look at Cuban Doll here. Oh, she's not gonna lift her out. There's no way. Oh my goodness. Oh, she could kick her out though. Oh my goodness, no way. Yeah, Brian Frankenstein's hanging on. I think you have to have that cutscene before you can have an elimination. I've always felt that way. Maybe I'm wrong. I've always seen that cutscene, the final two cutscene. Oh, man. 
Hope we get it either soon or, you know, this has been longer than the other rumble I did. Oh, reversal. Oh, man. Look at this. Oh, reversal back. It might not be. Oh, there's no way you're going to drag her all the way to that rope. What were you thinking? Uh-oh. Yeah, th I don't think she can throw her out. We'll see. We need that cutscene. Yeah, I think you got to have that cutscene before anyone gets eliminated, but I'm not for sure. It's not. Oh, man. Lays out the Bride of Frankenstein there. Oh, what was that? That's a weird move. And the Cuban dog keeps on fighting. I never even heard of her until I put her in this rumble. She's been very impressive. And once again, trying to drag the opposite direction. It's not working. I hope nothing's wrong with this rumble. If you're watching it, then that means there isn't. Because I won't put it up if there is. Oh man, Bride of Frankenstein lays her out. But this is kind of getting weird a little. I'm not going to lie. And look at this. Oh, man. This is getting kind of out of control. I feel like it's not a rumble anymore. Oh, no, she's going to try to drag her out. And Bride of Frankenstein, could she pull it off? It's looking good. Maybe you don't need the cutscene, because she just won. She just won, so maybe you don't need that cutscene. I didn't see the cutscene. It lasted longer than usual, I thought. I thought it was getting a little odd there. I was kind of a little scared there for a second. But it was an okay rumble, pretty good rumble. Um... I'm glad the Bride of Frankenstein won. That's who I wanted to win, but th this girl's great too. I mean, I like her raps and stuff. Either way, I would I would be fine. But Bride of Frankenstein wins. But guess what? Even though I like you, you're not going to WrestleMania. I don't know what you're thinking. You and your husband. Neither one of you. Are getting WrestleMania tickets. Unfortunately. I hate to break the news to you. You know. You're not going to WrestleMania. You're not. But anyway guys. I hope you enjoyed the Rumble. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Try to get me to 10,000 subs guys. I'm trying to get there. It's just taking forever. I mean that was my New Year's resolution. And you, if you thought 2020 wasn't bad enough. I can't get to 10k. Either. Oh my goodness. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the Rumble. I'll see you guys later. I'm out.